Okay. Hey, um, I'm going to be lightning. So, um, two, two and a half months ago, I disappeared from um, the mailing list for a couple of weeks, um, helping Michael Bush and together with Mike McCandless to basically rewrite Lucene Indexer. And um, what we've done, well, I first want to show you how the Lucene Indexer worked until 3.x. Right? There's an uh, index writer on top, there's Dockens writer. Dockens writer takes, uh, for each thread coming in, a thread state, and that thread state builds a little in memory segment. Once, um, well, the people who use Lucene uh, might know it, there's a setting max RAM buffer, right? When the RAM buffer is full, Lucene merges those segments in memory, right? Does all the resorting and flushes it to disk. Then it's a disk, and then it can continue indexing. When you benchmark this, it looks like that. There's like 50,000 50, documents a second, and there's nothing happening here, right? It's 40 seconds, zero. You see that when you use Solar, um, you do indexing over HTTP, your throughput just drops, and then it takes a while, and then it comes up again. So um, maybe you watch the indexing time, 620 seconds for that one. So what we've done is basically we rewrote um, documents writer into what we call documents writer per thread. So the entire infrastructure has been moved into um, a single threaded class. Documents writer is only responsible to, for, for taking out a documents writer and hand it over to the thread. What does this give us? It gives us actually the ability to flush concurrently. Right, so if one, uh, if we have, we still have the max RAM buffer. Max RAM buffer is filled up. We take out um, the largest document writer per thread. That's by default. Swap a new one in, so indexing can continue, and flush it out in the background. The interest rate looks different, right? So, actually, um, we speeded up indexing with this benchmark by 100%. It's 260 seconds. This was um, as default index writer settings. There were no tweaks or anything, um, so the comparison was kind of fair. Um, the nice thing about this is um, that when you actually turn down the amount of RAM you have available, so if you would change a RAM buffer from um, 1,024 megabytes to like 300 megabytes, the interest rate goes up, which is funny. So our benchmark suit here, you see plain text indexing gigabytes an hour, 100, right? Until here. Well, actually, until here, this is when Mike swapped in his PCI, uh, PCI Express attached flash memory. So you get this little, little bit. This is when we committed document writer per thread to trunk. And up here, the C, this is when we moved the RAM buffer from one gigabyte down to, two, to 250 uh, megabytes and it went up to 269 gigabytes an hour of plain text. Actually, you might think, well, you need a really strong box for this. Actually, you don't. It's getting even better if, you're, if your hard disk is slower, right? Because it uses your IO system efficiently. You just need to make sure that uh, you don't do anything else on your machine because it's going to be busy. If you want to learn more about this and how it has been implemented, I wrote two blog posts. Um, I especially recommend the top one um, if you're interested in Lego. Um, it explains how the whole update mechanism works since um, Lucene indexing now has no synchronization anymore. It's all non-blocking um, atomic compare and set operations. So if you're interested in this kind of concurrency, this might be interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Simon.